All right, darling. Okay. There's already All another right. new one. Yeah, yeah. They ne you, you never you never can stay on top. No. Do you realize we haven't even added a platypus then to the wetlands yet? Seems like a crime. We, well, maybe an oversight. Gotta go to platypus jail. No. Platypi well, actually, jail. Probably more than one. Oh, that's probably so cute. Wait, are they platypuses? Platypi. 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 They that's have very a cute. little eye on the end of their name. Anyway, there is a new Planet Zoo pack already announced, which is so freaking exciting. And this one is the conservation pack. And we have not seen the trailer for it yet. Okay. So we haven't seen the trailer. No. We don't know what's in it. No. So here's my prediction because okay. I heard, I heard that it was going to be about conservation. Mm -hmm. Right? So what's conservation all about? Conservation from the zoo's perspective is making people aware of like animals. Yes. And like the plight of them. So what better way to have people care about animals than a petting zoo? <laughs> You guinea, have been a guinea pig <gasps> petting zoo. Okay, you have my attention. They did let you do petting zoos at the St. Louis Zoo. That was two finger touch. That's right. Yes, that's true. And you could brush the goat at the St. Louis Zoo. That's what I'm saying. Like goats, little things. And we've been licked by many giraffes. If you could have a giraffe feeding station, that would be amazing. So like, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys know this, but we've, we've been to the inside of some zoos before. Yes. And what they say is that occasionally what they'll do is they'll have some of the animals to put them on a leash after hours yes. and like take them around to different parts <laughs> of the zoo. So if you had like oh a, a petting zoo animal, like a donkey. You could just trot the donkey around. It would probably bite people. Yeah, but oh, then, the llama. Like, what if they had the llama? It's going to spit on me. Right, That'd but then like really he funny. could go to the different <gasps> places. And so then it's like, oh, what you'd name him like, you know, Joseph. And the it's like, oh, where's Joe? Who's Joe looking at? And, then and you'd, you like, could draw. Oh, I would love Right? Oh it's like, gosh. oh, Joe's looking at the, the otters, <laughs> or oh, he really likes the penguins. Oh right? my gosh. So that's my, that's my guess. I would, Petting I would... zoo, and then a llama named Joe that walks around. That's my okay. guess. Okay. I feel like we've escalated this probably beyond the scope of what may happen. And but if let's... it's not that exactly, I'll be really disappointed. Oh no, no, well, well <laughs> I'm okay, we'll see what happens. Let's see what we Let's got. do it. Are we going through once, and then we're going back? Yep, yep. Okay, okay. Right. Sunflowers! Darling, I don't know if you know this about me, but I pay attention to all the new plants that pop in. I'm, I'm, I'm aware of it. <laughs> Conservation. Oh, that was a big pun. Is that pumpkin new? That, that was, I think that pumpkin was new. Oh, what the heck is that? Wish like ones? that big, no, the big giant play place they had for the animals. It looked like a, um, uh, what, oh. What do we, oh, it's not Joe, but it is a donkey. That is. <laughs> not a donkey. <laughs> That was no oh donkey. Oh my gosh. Was it a donkey? Uh, well, okay, that was actually very, let's, before we look at what actually they say about it, let's go back through, whoops a daisy, and we're gonna slow it down. <clears throat> and then let's see what we see again, and then we will read what it actually says. So they always show you these like rolling hills, but it's yeah. really hard to build your zoo like this. Oh, it's so hard to build your zoo like this. Sunflowers. Sunflowers. I love I love the sunflowers. I'm gonna be all over that for I have a fairy tale zoo in our modded zoo. Ooh. It's really cute. It's got woolly mammoths, which I don't know how they fit into fairy tales, but there you have it. Are those tomatoes? I was gonna say they're a climbing plant of some kind. Ooh, is that a little carrot in a pot? Is it Look a carrot? Right there, darling. That, I would swear that's a carrot. I put my money down on is that a new pot actually? I feel like this is a Sims trailer where I need to like be analyzing all the food I see. I think right? you're right about the pumpkins. Yeah, I feel like this like back end we're looking at, like a lot of these objects are new. Yeah. More uh, at least I haven't put them in my Hey, yet. we were just talking about behind the scenes kind that's of right. decorations. Hey, that's is that a cheetah? A cat of some type? Hmm. Over here. Is that like, what they're gonna put look, in the petting look, zoo? Look, like what is this? Is this like it roller looks... coasters for <laughs> orangutans? Like look doesn't look like a little roller coaster. <laughs> Now, if they had like a crossover <laughs> event with like Roller Coaster Tycoon and Planet Zoo, <laughs> and you could build like little roller coasters for all the different exhibits, that for, would like, be the different like. Different animals. I didn't even know I wanted that until right now. Oh my gosh, I would wait, love Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry, okay. had to beg up. Is that an axolotl plushie behind this guy right there? <gasps> or a stand? I think or you're a stand, right. Like a little statue or something? I mean, now that you said that, I can't see like, it Like, doesn't that look like a little else. axolotl face? Because he's got the it does. little, little thing right then the little, the little And he's got frills. his little hands over here. Little arms. Did you know those regrow if they get cut off? Ooh, that's kind of weird. Well, they're, they're it's convenient. Convenient, yes. 
So this is kind of interesting because a lot of what we're seeing seems to be like the back end stuff. So yeah. I wonder how they're going to play that into the conservation. Is it just going to be like stuff pack? This is a cute barn though. That's cute. I'm, my zoos never look like this. I don't have cool no, stuff like this. I don't. I need to build more like back end stuff like that. All right. I don't think that's a donkey. But maybe. I mean, it looks a lot like a donkey. So the ear. Well. Oh man, people who know way more about like oh boy. equines right. than me All are right. gonna be like, uh oh, that is okay. reason. We're running wild. Okay, you ready for the 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 deets? All right, let's see the deets. Okay, what let's we see got? the deets. Here we go. Okay. Concert. Oh, that's a Przewalski. <laughs> Come I on. Mean, it doesn't look like it up close, but the second it pulled back, I recognized it. Like when I saw it small like this. You think? I well, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. But that's like, such an obscure animal, though. You'd think they'd put in, like... They're the only... <gasps> what is that? Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, my gosh. Look at that greenery. That's really pretty. Oh, my word. That's so cool. Look at the roofing. I, I mean, you can do that roofing anytime, but now it's, like, a leaf-shaped roof. I know what I'm going to be using for, like, forever. Those for my really decorative pretty. pieces. I love this little, um, like, private courtyard. It's like an atrium, almost. Yeah. Oh, oh don't. Oh, you're teasing me again. Mm -hmm. Atrium. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. the birds. So I love, um, I didn't ever think about building something like this, where you're, like, inside and you have your own little, like, getaway spot. Oh, yeah. From the crowds, people, for the people. <clears throat> people who are way better at building than me can do indoor zones. But whenever I try to build anything inside, it just does not work. Well, you, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. But all right, so let's go ahead. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see what we got. All right. Introducing the Planet Zoo Conservation Pack. Learn about the critical role zoos take in helping the planet as you expand your own zoo with five endangered animals. The Przewalski's hey. horse. I knew it. I knew it because we've seen them in, in real life. Mm -hmm. We have indeed seen the Przewalski's in person at the San Diego Safari Park. And we made the mistake that, that we... That they made. Yes. Yeah. So we were standing there yeah. and the Przewalski's wild horse is like a... It's like one of the... What, what would you say? It's like the last... It's, of the wild horses? It's the, or the, the closest relative? The closest relative to the true wild horse. There's some people who contend that they actually have a lot of domestic horse genes mixed in, but they are the last remaining true wild horse because all the other wild horses that run around like the coast of North Carolina and um, like the Midwest and elsewhere in the world are actually feral horse populations mm. from domestic horses. So these guys are the last of the wild, like never tamed by human hands, horses that exist. But when we were there at San Diego, Looking somebody was like, ah, eh, that's just a donkey, I don't yep. care. And I was and like, we, and we were like, yeah. what? It's like, there's like a hundred of those left. I and think, we did I, the same I, think thing. I yelled out at them. Do you remember? Like, we were sitting there eating our little lunch, and we were, I was grinning from ear to ear looking at the Przewalskis because I was like, this is amazing. It's one of the rarest animals in the world. I'm so excited to see them. And the couple walked up and they're like, oh, it's just some donkeys. And I think I was like, oh no, they're actually Przewalskis wild <laughs> horses. They're actually one of the rarest horses. And like, the people start running. Do you remember that? I don't remember that. I might, that might have been traumatic. <laughs> and I might have just like blocked it out of my mind. I, I remember that because I was like, I just couldn't keep my mouth shut. I was so embarrassed, but also like, now that at least they know it wasn't a donkey. But then we called it a donkey. I, hey, you know, we <laughs> may, may, you know, they, they, they were, mm. uh, we were them and they were us. Also, I think these are new wildlife plants. Like, that, because that looks a lot nicer than the grass we currently have that just kind of mm, looks like there's clumpy. a bunch of shards sticking out of the ground. Mm -hmm. This has like the wildflower meadow look to it. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. That makes me think about um, some of Yellowstone that we saw actually. Oh yeah, that's it, true. It had a more complex biome than just grass. Uh, but all right, we jumped away. <clears throat> oh, oh, darling, man. the Amur leopard. That's going to get do you have a, a photo lot of, of it up there. Do, do we it? have a, a, a glimpse of our leopard yet? That actually, oh no, we don't. But who do we have here? Oh, <gasps> look how cute! Oh no, that's too cute. That's really cute. Oh my gosh, that, I think that may be one of my new favorite decorative items. Oh, the simians, 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 simians. Okay, so they're the. Let's see, the. Uh, how would you say this? Scimitar horned oryx. The scimitar horned oryx. The simiang and the axolotl. And the axolotl, I need to learn how to pronounce correctly, but that's the common like way I've heard it. Ooh. But that's these guys. 
I feel like so we've these... seen. Oh, look, they're playing on the, the roller coaster oh, thing. Oh, yeah, they didn't realize it was a roller coaster track. And so they're like, ooh, we can play here. <laughs> I bet the lemurs would love that too. Have... So are these the ones that are in like um, Southeast Asia? I don't know. Actually, I, I don't know that much about we'll, them. We'll keep going. I'm, I'm Look a... at their their arms. Wow. I think we may have seen these guys at the San Diego Zoo, not the Safari Park, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, wow, because I'm pretty sure I would remember that throat pouch. Oh, the, the little art for them is so I feel cute. Like there was, I feel like there was a documentary that had David Attenborough that had these guys in them. And Probably. they were like, were, were these the ones that were all like in the snow? And they were like no those together. were the the like snub nosed oh right 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 oh these are these are the these are the ones in um malaysia and thailand these these have that like characteristic um, like whoop, 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 yeah whoop, exactly whoop. that's what i thought oh sweet so yeah oh, they're small they only are 30 pounds oh there's they're a lot tinier than they look yeah from these pictures you're like oh they're like chimp size no yeah i was thinking like a gorilla or something but they're a lot smaller than i thought wow they seem pretty cute, so that's gonna be fun to see. I like seeing this new theme because it's green, and I'm a sucker for anything that's kind of green like that. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Oh, look at the baby! Oh, those are our oryx. Oh, that's actually really cute. So I I know I know that in the like in the game logic, like this is a fine photograph, but personally, and I don't know if you feel the same way, hmm. I would want a bigger fence. Considering the size of the horn, of the scimitar horn, personally. Well, I mean, it's not really at an angle to really get. I was me. about to say it's kind of curved back uh, quite a bit. I wonder if that's a female, or do the males also have the horns? We're gonna have to learn when the the new game comes out. That's true. But to see, the other thing that I was thinking though, is that I know a lot of like grazers like this. They like to rub against like wooden poles and stuff. Oh, you're gonna get smacked! Yeah, see, yeah, I wouldn't want to even. Smacked. Yeah, I wouldn't even want to play that. <laughs> you would get the smack. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh, that's awesome. Word. That's a really good set. Yeah, that's actually a good set, and I like that it looks like we're getting animals and uh, scenery pieces this time. Sometimes you only get one or the other. And hey, look, you're right. You create a haven of wild meadow plants and food plots. Ooh, the peeling scenery Ooh. pieces. Food plots? Okay, let me catch up. Okay, so embrace a more sustainable future using 150 stunning scenery pieces based on themes of rewilding and natural resource management. Create a haven of wild meadow plants and food plots with appealing new scenery pieces. Construct stunning habitats and buildings from environmentally friendly materials. Take on a challenging new sc scenario in Mongolia's Turtle Rock Wildlife Orphanage. <gasps> A wildlife orphanage, darling! That's cute. And rescue animals in need. Oh my gosh, that sounds really exciting. Um, let's see, so we have five endangered animals. So all of these, oh, the axolotl is so critically oh, endangered, really darling. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's really bad. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know that about the scimitar horned oryx or the simian. Or the sim simian. Now that I know where the simian is from, I yeah. That Thailand, makes, it, that makes more sense. Well, it's from the like Malaysia, that that part of Southeast yeah, Asia. Yeah, that makes yeah. more sense. The Amur leopard is that the one that the Amur leopard is? Uh, is that the one on the island? Let's see. Is that might be the case. Sri Lankan. Let's see. Yeah. Look out for brand new behavior behaviors. Simians can gather and perform new chorus calls and use their long limbs to nimbly swing from metal climbing frames. Your guests will go wild for these playful gibbons. Oh, cute. They um, used to be in all of North and South Korea and then parts of China but now they only exist on the tiny little border between China and Russia. And the North really? Mm -hmm. For the leopards? Yeah. Oh, what a what a like rough go of it. Hang mm -hmm. in there, leopards. We'll try to help you out when we get you here. Uh, one of the things I love just as a, a side for Planet Zoo is mm -hmm. that it really helps bring to life animals from extremely remote regions that chances are, unless you go, I mean, we've gone to a ton of zoos. Mm -hmm. We've been to a lot of zoos and I have only seen a Przewalski's once. And it was off exhibit because and, it was, yeah. because like they were trying to do like a, a rehabilitation program. For yeah, them. they were trying to do a breeding program where it was actually off exhibit. So we saw it because it was standing on a hill and we were sitting in an area that was marked off for construction. We hadn't snuck in, it was just like closed. And we looked, we were looking for a bench to eat lunch at. And we looked up and happened to see the horses, but they were really far away and we had to use our zoom camera to see them. Um, but I don't think I've ever seen these oryx. I don't think so. And 
I'm not. I, now that we know what we're looking for. You would have heard them before you saw Yeah, I've never seen these guys. Uh, oxalotls, unfortunately, the pet trade, where I've oh, seen yeah. a ton of them, is part of the huge problem. Uh, and then the Amir leopard. I don't think so. We've seen clouded leopards and snow leopards. We've yeah. seen we've seen those guys. So yeah, the, one of the things I love about Planet Zoo is it's going to bring all of those critically endangered animals who really need a lot of action now to everyone's awareness, mm -hmm. which is just like completely backing up the conservation pack. I also think this is really cool because it's the first time they've had a pack that's not themed around like a geography location or kind of like a um, geography theme, like Arctic or wetlands. Well, so now- Now I want aviary. <laughs> although most of these are Asian. I don't know about the Oryx, but the Przewalski's is in um, like that's Mongolia. True. And then the Amur leopard comes in China and Russia. The Simiang is in Southeast Asia. Um, axial, axolotl? Axolotl is from Central America. Central America. Yeah. Right. Okay. That, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. So, but it's certainly a lot less focused as far as like Yeah, like a specific location. And it looks like we're going to be, how on earth, would you happen to know offhand how to pronounce this place in I'm, Mongolia? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess Gorky Terel, uh, Terelge. Gorky that's my guess. Terelge yeah, that's National guess. Park in wrong. Mongolia. Sorry, uh, Mongolian <laughs> Sorry. I wonder if we, oh, well, maybe we have people in Mongolia joining us in the pixel biology community. I like to imagine that. Um, and then profit is an afterthought as you primarily aim to rescue, raise, document, and release as many species as possible. Oh, wouldn't that be nice if that's how zoos actually worked? <sighs> and it's such the catch-22 <laughs> because know. where do you release them? Yeah, I know. That's the key where Sorry. like a good AZA zoo that wants to do releases, it's like, sure, we'd love to do that. But you put them right back into the waiting arms of poachers and habitat pet destruction and the pet trade. Mm -hmm. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a big giant like movement of things. Also, I like this part. Power your zoo using renewable energy, foster plant diversity, mm. and teach your visitors the importance of sustainability. Are you up to the task? Mm. I feel like it, it was made for us, darling. Now, Just saying. yeah. Just saying. This looks really cool. It um, looks cool. Can't wait to put the roller coasters in. <laughs> can't wait to lead people around with my little guide donkey and my oh, and the guinea pig right. petting zoo. Oh my gosh. And feed people from our, our fresh tomato farm, I guess. Oh, well, well, it's we'll going to be fun. We'll have to try this and uh, we'll, we'll have to do a new uh, couple stream on this one. Yeah, we'll go to Mongolia together. That's right. Look at us traveling. Good honeymoons. <laughs> Oh, that'd be, that'd be pretty fun. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Let us know down in the comments what you guys think about all of these new additions. I'm pretty excited, especially because it's kind of fun to see Planet Zoo start shifting to like a action theme instead of just a uh, like biome or a geography theme for the animals. Because maybe that means we'll one day get a petting zoo or a, or a giraffe feeding station. Roller coasters are pretty active. Or a roller coaster. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Those pretty active activities. Oh my goodness. But all right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you could, do please leave a like for these lovely animals. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. I got to do it this time. Bye-bye. <laughs>